Hey, what's up, everybody? I had so much fun with it the first time that I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do a couple of the uh, gift bundles from Ixalan. Because the collector boxes have gone absolutely nuts. The set boxes are holding on very, very well. And this still feels like a deal. So, we're going to do this. <clears throat> um, if you watched the first time I did this, that, that went... That went really, really extremely well. I don't expect that to happen again. Let me just state that for the record. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be great if it did, but I'm also a realist. Can't really catch lightning in a bottle twice. Doesn't really work that way. But let's see what we get out of it, huh? I'm sure, there'll still be some cool stuff. Ixlon's kind of a good set. Kind of a good set. All right, so. Uh huh. <laughs> Super curled. <laughs> uh, not, not that surprising, to be honest with you. <clears throat> these, these promo pack cards are always the worst. But it's a Jurassic Park. Like, look at that sucker. Huh? But isn't the Jurassic Park card in here? It is. And it is a ravenous Tyrannosaurus. And I'm going to have to do some work. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> and of course, we have the cool land pack. I forgot. Is it all the cool lands? Because, in which case, I actually. Yes, it is. And they're not foil, thankfully. Yay. Awesome. So these are something I will actually keep and go in my land box. Um, you know what? We're just going to open them all at the same time. And let's see what we get out of this one that I'm going to have to do some, some work to to get it uncurled. <laughs> uh, honestly, these are really cold because they came right off the truck. And uh, that's part of the problem. Plus, it's super dry here right now. Anyway. Um, okay, we got Ellie and Alan, paleontologist. So, and a bunch of now junk lands. All right. So that's fun. Ravenous Tyrannosaurus is an awesome hit. Ellie and Ellen, neat card. Not really a, a hit of those, but still a neat card. But that's part of the that's part of the deal of getting the gift bundle, right? You get a Jurassic Park card. And uh, the very worst one is Henry Wu. And there's a bunch of them that are range from good to great. So anyway, set packs. So this is rare in the back, rare in the back, rare in the back. Okay. Twist and turns, deep fathom echo for our first rare. God, these hit the mother loads are super. Uh, fabrication foundry. The uh, Ixalan didn't have a terrible list. So let's see what we can find out of that too. Threshing Brontodon Inti to start us off with Solid Rare, Sunshot Militia. Inti was kind of funny. It went from like kind of being bulk, almost borderline like not bulk, and then very quickly shot up like three or four bucks, and then it stayed there. Jurassic Park Land, Polani's Hatcher, Tectonic Hazard, and Dina off the list. That's the thing. Dino's a really good guard. Really, really, really good uncommon out of strict saving. Unquestionably good uncommon. Since it also saw a massive reprint in uh, March of the Machine, it didn't really need to be on the list. But out of a random card to pull, if you didn't already have a copy, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uchbinbach and Kellen. I look forward to whatever Kellen's story is being done. Kind of annoyed with him showing up in every set for reasons that nobody truly understands. Bitter Triumph. In fact, you can actually go on top. Bartolome. Unstable Glyph Bridge. Okay. <laughs> and the rare pile's already falling over because of the... Uh... <laughs> um... Okay, so three more. Because of the hit the mother loads that are super curled.
Okay, Brontodon, Shadows, Pugnacious, Hammer Skull. And Chimli. Okay, or Chimil. I actually didn't pull a lot of these personally, so that is a cool mythic. I uh, I didn't do well on, on that particular card. I, I did great on a lot of cards. I have no complaints about my pulls, Nick Juan. But that card, I really didn't. I didn't have good luck with that one. So that's that's actually sweet. I guess you can say that's one on a list of cards that I'm happy to pull. I haven't looked at the price of it. I kind of assume right now without... I haven't checked the price of it literally in a couple months now. I assume it went down like the 6 to $8 range or so. Ooh, fanatical offering. In fact, I'll put you over in like that other pile. What's that? Oh, it's a land cycle. That's right. So we got another hammer skull, and then we got a borderless foil restless ridgeline. The new man land cycle. Seemed neat. Not surprised it didn't necessarily let the world on fire, but it is neat. Okay, last pack, and then we're going to do one of the collector packs. Deep Cavern Bat, which is see and play. The Belligerent, with a pirate hat. Okay, now let's open up one of these things that now are going for so much money. Actually, this leads me to a question. Um, there's only really ever been one other set that had a reprint of collector boxes, and that was Kamigawa. Will Ixalan follow that same path? That's going to be an interesting question over the next six months. Or will they keep the collector box on the side of the collectors and then say one and done print runs, right? That's going to be interesting. Because if they print a bunch more, it'll sell. Like, you put those boxes back out again for two fifteen, they'll sell. So, like, is it is it money left on the table by Wizards not to do that? To me, yes. It makes no sense to not do another print run. It, it, to me personally, it doesn't from a from a dollars and cents on a P and L perspective. Sanguine Evangelist, Sanguine Evangelist, Xavier Cell. Hey, oh here, Pack Patik. Not necessarily the god that you want, but it is still a mythic god. Ah, permission denied. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Like the card. And Squirming Emergence to finish off that collector pack. Okay. Let's get into the other of these. Yeah, that's going to be a fascinating thing, at least at time of the filming. It, it, are they going to reprint that again? Uh, part of me... Oh, Resplendent Angel. That's a neat mythic. Okay. Another one I didn't particularly get out of my boxes. Having said that, I already had a copy that is in my angel deck, and I don't think I ever needed another copy, so I didn't care. But still neat. Mountain. So yo -ah. Hey, the Growing Rights of Inlamok in non-foil, which is great, because all I have is, like, foil copies from all the collector boxes I opened. <laughs> I didn't get any out of the set boxes that I opened. For me, anyway. Yeah, we got Sovereign Okanek. Okay. That is also a mythic, neat card, not necessarily a hit, but not terrible either. So we got Subterranean Schooner. It's not a sailboat. And Wayland Pirates. That's the thing about opening bundles. Um, tiny sample size, very weird print runs in terms of how pack distribution works. Stalactite Stalker. And, okay. You can't really go into these kind of expecting to hit a certain card. You kind of, you know, you can hope it. You can hope for whatever you want. Whale of the Forgotten. Okay. But this feels more appropriate. Which is also kind of also why, you know, those Jurassic Parks add, uh, cards add that extra element. Like, what is the Tyrannosaurus at? I have to, I, again, I haven't checked in a long time. Uh, but I have to believe it's probably down to around 20 bucks. But still, that's a $20 card after it gets straightened out that came out of this before you even open the packs. Which kind of adds a, a extra layer of these being a good product. We got Ellie and Allen again in a braided net. And Europia, 
Eutropia, sorry, twice favored off Theros for a list card. So it doesn't look like any rare or mythic list cards, but again, eight packs out of each, weird distribution. So how it goes. Kutzil and Cosmium Confluence. All right. Last set pack, and then we're going to do the last collector pack. So sure enough, this hasn't been remotely as good as the first one I did. I knew it wouldn't be. Am I unhappy with it? Nah, not really. I still got some neat cards. Chimil's cool. Responding Angel's cool. Growing Rights is cool. Ravenous Tyrannosaurus over there is cool. Hopefully that last collector pack carries something cool. In which case, all right. Now we got another Jurassic Park Mountain. In fact, uh, that's one's the most expensive of the group. And a third Sanguine Evangelist of the video. And Sun Touched Mirror. Yeah, okay. All right. Last collector pack. Again, for the, for the price you can get these at, while it's a very small sample size, so your risk of doing well to getting crushed is high, right? Versus more sample size of a full box, which kind of brings everything back towards a mean. Um, <clears throat> these feel like one of the best ways to open the collector packs right now. And which are also not curled, which is amazing. Okay. All right, pack, last one. Let's get some spice. Kutzil. Metzalanti. Or Metzalant Lee. Yeah. Hit the mother load. Okay. Progenitor's icon. Yeah, commander card. Hey, 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 all right, Cavernous Souls, good. A little bit of, little bit of damage at the bottom there, unfortunately, so very light played, but that's all right. Okay, we got the JP Mountain again. Another Mythic. Fuck! Special guest. It's in the regular version, but who cares? Who cares? <laughs> what? Whoa. Now I'm just dropping the card. Oh, well. It's not perfect. That wasn't for me. It's not perfect, but that's all right. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, so here I am trying to show like the reality of sample sizes and all that and then the box is just like yeah this wasn't the greatest opening you've done and even though you're kind of happy with it you know we're not going to let you talk trash about us <laughs> the cavern of souls already was like great I, I feel I feel good and then you dropped that on me no way and that pack had both a cavern of souls and a mana crypt sheesh folks this is not the Back to back videos, this is not what you should go into this expecting. This is dumbest luck of the highest order. That's what this is. Oh, God. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Here I am trying to think that I'm trying to show what a normal box would look like, or normal two boxes of these, and, and I felt I was kind of on pace for that. And instead, that thing shows it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, again, don't get two of these like I did on this channel thinking you're going to hit a mana crypt and then leave that disappointed that you didn't hit a mana crypt. Please don't do that out there. But having said that, that's awesome. Thank you for watching.